sauce, come off. After spending just under a week fishing the Fenland drains and blanking in style, I decided to return and try my luck again. This time I planned to fish a different drain and also the river. The weather had been stable the past week and I really fancied my chances for catching a pike. So the first 24 hours was going to be on the drains. Well, just come up to about half past 11. I've repositioned the rods probably half an hour ago, sort of rotating them every 30, 45 minutes because there's a lot of debris and bits of old weed coming through and it's catching on the line and covering the bait up so I've had a few issues with the seagulls as well coming down for the baits but you know that's to be expected on drains like this you can see them going down every five minutes here there and everywhere so I know they're going to be a bit of a pain but you know there's a lot of swans as well where they've been behaving themselves normally swans do like to have a bit of a look at your bait and I'm just hoping that none of them go down for it and end up hooking themselves because I'll be in a world of pain to be honest but yeah at the moment it's looking nice it's very overcast which is bang on it's about six degrees so it's perfect piking weather got no ice this morning i think last night was about two degrees so it's all all good on the fishing front at the moment it's just a matter of time really i was thinking of moving earlier on but i just thought stay put and just carry on leave the rods out leave the baits there and hopefully try and catch some fish because I know what I'm like. I can be dead fidgety sometimes and I just want to go somewhere else. But with the length of the drains, I mean, this one, I'm not too sure. I don't know how many miles long this one is, but you're basically just waiting for a pike to probably come from one end of the drain to the other. And, you know, it could take all day for that pike to come through. But, you know, I'm confident, always confident every time I go fishing. You know, I was even confident the other week when I came down here, but... You know, that was a five day blanker and that was that was really tough. But I know fish have been caught recently, which is good. And that's put me in our spirits because when I came down here last time, I was a little bit at a loose end, to be honest. And especially being my first time as well. So yeah, I'm gonna see what the day brings. All we need is one fish, just one. Then the rest will follow. And you never know, we might be in chance with a decent size pike as well. I know pike in here have come out over 30 pound. Which is, which is perfect. That's why I'm gonna concentrate on this drain primarily. And then if we, you know, if we get the 30 pound pike, that's the quest completed. Let's see what the day brings. Let's see if we can get any fishing. Come on, Mrs. Pike, where are you? Gotta be one knocking around here somewhere. Got to be. Well, we're just starting to lose the light now. And we still have no fish. Very quiet. You know, I wasn't expecting a miracle to happen by any means, but I thought at least one fish, maybe a jack pike. So I think it's safe to say tomorrow is going to be a case of load the car up and head down the river. I was really hoping to catch a couple of fish and sort of spur me on to stay here, but I think 24 hours is long enough in a swim to be honest without a fish you know I haven't got huge amounts of times to but the weather's been bang on absolute bang on nice and overcast not not overly cool we'll have to see what tonight brings but I'm gonna load the car up later on with half the stuff so I've only got the bivy bed here and the rods to pack away in the morning I think it's about half an hour away the river so get down there set up early in the morning see how that goes
have 24 hours there and hopefully catch some pike. Yeah, very, very quiet. All right, get the kettle on. See how tonight goes. If I catch tonight, I'll stay. If I don't, then I'll be heading for the river in the morning. With the pike playing hard to catch, it was time to head down the river and try my luck there. Well, just arrived at the river. It's a river I've never fished before. And oh, look how nice that looks. That is absolutely gorgeous. Really quiet as well. Hardly any traffic compared to yesterday on the drain when there was cars going past every five minutes. This looks beautiful. I think it's time to have a bit of a recce, look at a few swims and see how I'm going to sort of fish it, way to go, locations, I don't know the depths of anything, I don't know if it's a deep river or, or quite shallow. So i quickly walk you through the swim, got quite a lot of water to go out here three rods one just around here middle rod just just out in the middle or the edge there's a bit of toe in the water but it's not too bad i've got a little bit of debris coming through but it's no way near as bad as what the drains were like and then the right hand rod I've actually walked it along the bank and placed it just, just around here. I mean, it's the only real feature we've got on this particular stretch that I'm fishing at the moment. You know, if I go any further up, then it's, I'm not fishing the club, club ticket, then it's going to be, I presume it's another angling club or day ticket. So that's what we've got. Margins are quite shallow, but probably a rod length at it drops down to about one and a half, two foot, possibly three. So, got more than enough space for landing the fish. As you can see, someone's been having a party. So that's it, that's what we've got. See where it started connecting onto me, the braid. It's not causing problems, it's not dislodging the lead by any means. I've got, got three ounce leads on, so I'm holding bottom really well. But yeah. I think it could hold a big pike. Very murky, really, really coloured water. But no, that's beautiful. I mean, you can hear a pin drop, it's that quiet. You get the odd car coming through, but generally speaking, it's, it's really nice and quiet, especially from last night. I mean, last night it was on the main drag, so there was cars going past every other minute. But this is really nice, very, very quiet. Beautiful place this is. So we've just got to hope now that some some pikes start coming through. Sort of on a bend. Just round the bottom round there, you've sort of bends round a bit, so. Nice bit of a feature.
just had some breakfast so full of energy might take a walk further down later just oh what we got that's probably the debris be a pain in the arse that kind of times but yeah i think i'll take a take a stroll further down see if i can see any signs of fish moving or any thrashing on the water there's a lot of cormorants here this morning so it's always nice to see a bit of wildlife knocking about they can normally put you in the right direction sometimes let's see how we go all right i think it's time to get the lure rod out I think I'll have probably half an hour's lure fishing. Let's see if there's any pike knocking about. I mean, with it being the river, there might even be some perch knocking about as well. So I think it's keepers options open. Let's see if we can catch a few. So go for that lure. Caught a lot of pike on these over the years. With the water being really coloured and murky, you know, I'm going for a bit of a visual. See if we can catch a few. Come on, Mr. Pikey. Come on, Mr. Well, I've never been so happy to see a pike. <laughs> I've, I've had so many blanks recently, it's unbelievable trying to chase these big fish. And like I say, the rods have been out for probably four or five hours. And it's only a small one, but you know, it's a start. You know, now I know where to put the baits. The margins are doing nothing. The middle of the river is bang on. You know, I've been seeing a bit of action. I had a, I had a bit of lure fishing, nothing come of it, but now I've had one normally the rest follow so all three rods are going to be put in the middle of the river now and believe it or not I only just took this one I let it run for a little bit longer than normal but yeah I mean it's only a tiny little baby but you know anything's welcome at the moment I'm having a right dry spell at the moment with the fishing but give a good scrap for himself I thought it was a bit bigger but nice little pike like I say, don't know how big he is, not very big, but he's definitely worth it. Just need his mum to come along now. But yeah, lovely little pike. So what I'm gonna do is reposition all the baits, get them all out in the middle channel. It seems, you know, I got this from there, so that's a good starting point. Wherever you catch your, catch your pike, if you're blanking and you're not catching anything, all of a sudden you get one in one area, put them all there. Obviously if it's a margin you wouldn't, but the central channel of here this produced it little twitchy take 
and it, you know a couple of takes and it just stopped nothing no line being taken then all of a sudden just started moving a little bit so I left it a little bit longer than normal and it's a good job as well because I only just ducked him in the scissors you know I was messing around trying to turn my GoPro on and the batteries ran out but so yeah look at my first river fish out this stretch shame I didn't catch any from the drains earlier on but you know you can't have it every time you go fishing and that's why catch all blank I'm putting the videos out because it is a struggle at times trying to catch pike you know big or small so what I'll do is I'll get this one back and then put some fresh baits on get some new rigs tied up and now I know exactly how far out to go put the baits and you know I've got a bit of time now you know it's it's nice when you've caught a fish you think right you know there's bound to be some water coming I mean if I'd have blanked probably by tomorrow morning I'd I'd have probably got at your feet and then gone to a different swim but you know I'm off the mark so I'll get him back and then uh, let's try and get some more in. Cracking little fish. <laughs> Come off. Well, just coming up to evening time. So far, one fish, lost one. The one I lost did feel like a good fish, to be honest. But you can never tell. So, last view of the, the river. I'm definitely staying here for the next 24 hours, without a doubt. 100% You know, I know two runs ain't much, but You know, I've never fished here before and You never know, might be in the chance with Catching one of the bigger ones So fingers crossed for a fish And I'll see you in the morning Well, good morning. Last night was absolute pandemonium. Had two eels and then lost a really nice pipe probably about 20 minutes ago. Look at that sunrise, absolute beautiful. This is what I love about fishing. Absolute stunning. Yeah, the pike I had was literally just got the bait in its mouth. It was just slightly hooked in the bottom jaw. A bit of a downer, really. It looked a nice fish. Probably mid, mid to upper double. And that was all on the middle rod. The left and right hand rod did nothing. 
So I might be having a bit of a change around today and see what see what we can do. Seems like the fish are passing through. I might have a deep lead around this morning, well, later on today and see what, see if there's any features there. But yesterday I had a quick lead around and couldn't find anything. But this is what it's all about. Got a lot of frost on the ground. I think it was about minus one last night, minus two. Bivvy's all froze over. Let's hope for another fish today. I can't see why not. If they're biting throughout the night. The old landing net. <laughs> froze completely, there we go. <laughs> Well, I think it's time for a cup of tea, or, or a coffee. Might get some fresh baits on. And then what I might do is, I might place all three rods in one spot. <coughs> and see if that produces any more fish. But yeah, it's looking, what a beautiful morning. Such a nice river this is. Really is. Well, it's coming up to mid morning now, about half ten. Just had some food and quick coffee. Just as I was drinking my coffee, the rod absolutely belted off. I mean, a real, real, real good take. I was pulling on the rod, bending round, hit into it. It felt really, really, you know, went deep. Felt dead heavy fish. Played it for about a minute. I couldn't. I couldn't get up to the top, you know, I've got a 45 pound braid on, trying to bully it, really, you know, set the hooks in. And uh, just, just come straight off, I was gutted, I really was. I didn't even have time to get my GoPro or anything ready. You know, I was really, really, you know, I was, it was quite, quite nervous to be honest. Felt a really big fish. So, put a fresh rig on, new bait, and straight back out on the spot. And what I've done, with that particular rod, I've actually cast it. Instead of being in the middle channel of the river, I've gone further over to the other side. And I think, I think there might be a few pike, that's where they're running along that, that far edge margin, sort of drifting into the middle channel of the river, and that's how I'm picking them up. You know, the, there's a far bend just further down, and I think they're sort of coming around that bend following that marginal line, and then sort of drifting into this middle channel and that's uh, I've been getting the takes because the left hand rod's done absolutely nothing it's all been on the middle rod so you know losing a few fish that pike had an eel quite a decent size eel to be honest but problem is at night time it's dead, it was dead misty you know it was like minus one in your breath you couldn't hardly see anything so it was important to me trying to record anything or show anything so yeah I'm full of confidence I've got till tomorrow morning so It'd be nice to get get a few more fishing. I think what I'm going to have to do is leave the run. Well, let the fish take, you know, line for just a couple of more seconds. I don't know if I'm hitting in too quick, to be honest. Sort of excitement, you know, the rod going off when you grab it. And I mean, yesterday I left that one on for for quite a, quite a bit longer, to be honest. You should feel with the braid. I take the bail arm off, feel the braid. And then you can feel the fish tugging, moving or pulling. And like I said yesterday, that one just just popped off a little bit and then grabbed the bait and you're like, it's not moving, not doing it at all. So, yeah, the sun is absolutely blinding at the moment, so it's not the best conditions for catching pike. I normally like it overcast and, you know, a bit cloudy, but, you know, I've done other videos and other sessions where it's been, you know, really really sunny and I've done well so but you know I'm off the mark I've had one fish at the end of the day and then you know I've never fished this river before so I've got a lot of searching a lot of wandering to do 
but I'm staying put. I'm not going to start moving here, there and everywhere. Cause to be honest, I don't know what angling clubs run different stretches and parts of the rivers. So I don't want to turn up and then get shifted off after about an hour because it's a private club, lake, uh, club, you know, stretch kind of thing. So, yeah, let's see what the day produces. It's only mid-mauling yet. We've got plenty of time. And hopefully we can, we can bag one. All the fish I've felt so far felt half decent. I mean, that one... You know, earlier on was really, you know, felt like a really decent pike. The other two, you know, I mean, it's hard to tell. I mean, there's not much tow in the river, so you'd know if it was a small one or not. I mean, that one yesterday felt that. You could feel the little tugging, so you knew it was a smaller one. But the bigger ones, that real deep, heavy feeling, it, it, you know, it's dead exciting. I love stuff like that. So what I'll do, probably give it an hour, then do another recast. And then uh, hopefully we can bag some more fish. Just need a big female to come along and stay on the up this time. <laughs> right, have a few, probably have an hour's lure fishing. Try this bad boy out. It's one of my favourite paddle tails. Caught quite a few pike on this one. There's a bit of weed out there, so I'm going to use quite a fast retrieval. See if we can catch some. Well, we've just come up to the last hour before it starts getting dark. It's been a very quiet day. I've had nothing at all, no, no bleeps. I've had a lot of stuff coming through the river, a bit of debris and old weed, but that's that's stopped now, so hopefully we'll have a nice quiet night. The river's looking beautiful, really nice. It's coming up to probably quarter past three something like that and this is probably my favorite time for catching a pike if i was going to be confident for a bite it would always be just going into darkness i've had a lot of big fish over the years going into darkness and last night was a prime example of the bites coming in thick and fast unfortunately we didn't land many obviously the eel i'm not really fishing for eels but so it'd be nice to get the pike in, but you can't you can't catch them every time. So I think it's time to get the kettle on. So I had a few spent a bit of time earlier on doing a bit of lure fishing, but nothing come of that. So I'm just hoping the deads do the work for me later. Really confident for a fish tonight though, I really am. After last night. really confident and then it's pack up first thing in the morning and get shooting i've enjoyed it though i know it's only one fish and a few losses but first time on this river really nice river as well so i think it's time to put the kettle on cross fingers for a fish later well that's the end of the session last night I think I had probably six or seven eels and it's literally wiped out all the bait I had in me in my box now so that's put a bit of a dampener on it but you know I can't complain it's my first time on the river and you know one small pike a handful of eels and then losing a couple of big pike you know it spurred me on to come back and I will be back and hopefully with a vengeance as well so I just want to thank everybody for watching if you're on the bank, good luck. I hope you're catching and doing well. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.